So as I'm getting older, I'm realizing how important it is to have values and morals. I was raised Catholic, so I'm familiar with the Ten Commandments. I was raised with really good parents. Both my parents were very loving. Okay, They both worked, put a roof over our heads. Um, my dad was my soccer coach for years. My parents would show up to all of our sport games. They provided us food. We had clothes. They were really good role models. My father worked incredibly hard. He worked his way up to become the vice president. You know, didn't go to college or anything, but worked really hard, provided for us, and now he hopefully gets to enjoy his retirement. Same with my mother. She worked really hard. She was a great mother. She was always there for us. We were always loved. As I got older and into college, I started becoming indoctrinated and I started becoming brainwashed where identity politics was the only thing that mattered. And that's what a lot of Americans think right now. We've steered away from morals and values. We've steered away from an objective truth, content of character. And that is why there's so much chaos in the world right now. Content of character should always trump skin color. It's 2021. Unfortunately, we've decided to go in the other direction. It's very regressive, and hopefully in a couple years, people will start to realize how regressive and silly it is. But until then, we're stuck in this clown world. While we live in this clown world, I think it's really important that we all start to talk about values. What does it take to raise successful children? What does it take to raise healthy people so that we can have a healthy country? Because you can't have a healthy country unless you have good, healthy people. We're blaming people for actions and sins that they have absolutely nothing to do with. We are doing exactly what we're trying to steer away from. We're blaming people who have the same skin color has people who sinned hundreds of years ago. It's silly because the people who sinned hundreds of years ago, they did not have good content of character. We shouldn't be blaming people in today's society just because they have the same skin color as them. It's so silly. It seems like a lot of Americans want to forget that the Civil War was white men who thought slavery was immoral walking out their front doors with their guns ready to go to war to fight the elites that was a very small percentage who were slave owners the people who owned slaves and supported slavery did not have good content of character clearly but there were also people who had the same skin color as them who thought slavery was immoral and sacrificed everything to go to war to end slavery. And it's 2021 and we're still focused on skin color rather than content of character, even though Martin Luther King said, one day I hope my children are not judged by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. And again, it seems like millions of Americans just wanna forget that that's what he said. It doesn't matter what color skin you have, it doesn't matter what color skin your guardians or your parents have. It matters how you were raised and the type of role model they were for you. Because then you're going to grow up and you're gonna be more likely to return that favor and to also be a good role model and to do good for this world. People still live in this indoctrinated mindset of blaming white men. It's like how simplistic of a mindset where you can just blame all of the world's problems and narrow it down to white men. Completely forgetting about content of character, just allowing people to get by and give them a pass to be evil just because they weren't white. And then completely ignoring all of the white people who are good. So as I've gotten older, I'm really starting to realize the importance of identifying who I am in this world and what type of people I want to surround myself around. And I've realized that the people I want to surround myself around are people who have the same values and morals as me. What's really interesting about Black Lives Matter is the evilness of it 
in which we saw plenty of that over the summer, it really opened my eyes to the importance of acknowledging content of character over skin color and having values and morals to shape me as the person that I want to be. There are so many black people in this world who do not agree with Black Lives Matter. There are evil people of all races and there are good people of all races. And the people who were okay with looting and rioting and killing innocent people don't have a good content of character. And it's racist to assume that all black people were okay with that and that all black people would do that because that's just not true. I have my own idea on what makes a good person in order to create a good country. And if there is no objective truth being followed and we don't have values and morals, we are going to live in chaos for the rest of our lives. When I believe that there is a God, it helps me have these morals and to become a more moral person. If there is no God, no higher power, why do we care to be good people? It's a waste of time. Why would we want to have self-discipline? What's the point? As children, we were raised in a household where your parents worked hard to give you a good life. Your parents worked to put food on the table, a roof over your head, and clothes on your back. When I got in trouble, they were there for me. They never gave up on me. Okay, They didn't ever make me feel like I was alone. No matter how many times I got in trouble, they showed up because that's what parents do. Growing up, we went on a lot of family trips together. We went on a two-week boat trip um, up through Canada. One of the most amazing trips I've ever been on. I'm so grateful for my upbringing. They never complained about money in front of us or talked about money in front of us. They never talked bad about anybody. They didn't never fought with their family or their brothers and sisters. They never brought us into any drama. Getting good grades and graduating high school was an important value of theirs. Going to college was expected, um, more so community college. We all had to get jobs at the age of 14 and a half, and we've been working ever since, so that instilled discipline in us. When we were in sports, they always showed up to our sport games. Like I said, my dad was my soccer coach for several years. They were highly involved in our lives for the most part. My parents made my siblings and I feel safe, secure, and supported. They didn't just go out for drinks and come back wasted every single night or every weekend. They were amazing role models. And so when I reflect back on how I was raised, it inspires me to be just as good of a role model, if not better. And so no matter what skin color you have, you can be a good role model. It shouldn't matter your skin color. And people shouldn't assume that just because you have a certain skin color, that automatically means that you were raised a certain way. I mean, that's in fact racist. I know plenty of people who had the same upbringing as me and they were not white. So this whole identity politics is a cancer. It's the devil, it's evil. And we really just need to grow up and focus on content of character. It does not matter what color skin you have. If you are not a good person, you are not a good person. I don't care what color skin you have. If you're a murderer, you're a murderer. If you're a rapist, you're a rapist. If you're a narcissist, you're a narcissist. It doesn't matter what you look like. This whole identity politics has brainwashed my generation that we don't even vote based on our values. I don't even think we know that we can have values because we were indoctrinated to just vote Democrat. Okay, we were just brainwashed to just obey the master and the master always told us to vote for them, to vote for Democrats. As you get older, we all need to establish who we are as an adult, who we are as a person, what morals and values do we hold, what type of people do we want to surround ourselves around, what do we think is government's role in our lives then vote off of that. Does this person's values align with me? I'm not just gonna vote for somebody just because one, they told me to, or that they're a female 
or that they claim to be a good person. I need to look into these people before I vote and see if they're going to make our country a better place. Thank you guys for listening. Hopefully in the future I can have some type of platform so that we can have more dialogue and conversation just about life and what people's values are and their morals, who their role models were growing up, and what they think it takes to create a strong, thriving country and what it means to be a good person. I truly believe that the future is good. I'm excited for it. I'm so blessed to be alive right now. And God bless America. Thank you for listening.